The best part of Omish was leaving. Not because Omish was bad. Actually, it was amazing. But the road leaving Omish was out of this world and is one of the most scenic roads in Croatia. Omish is a small town, once home to pirates, but now attracts thousands of visitors, including me. The old town, incredible scenery and range of activities make this a perfect location for people of all ages. Located only 25 kilometers down the coast from Split, it is easily accessible. As you travel down the motorway, you will soon see the impressive rock faces that surround Omish. Today I will be giving you a full travel guide for Omish, so you know what to do and where to go while you are there. If you have been to Omish, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, a like and subscription is greatly appreciated. Let's get Omish with this video. Sorry, that was terrible. Parking. As you enter Omish, it's hard not to get distracted by the towering rock faces that loom ahead. Luckily, parking is easy. There is a large car park on your right before you cross the river as you approach Omish from Split. A short walk across the road bridge and you are in Omish. Old Town. I recommend starting off in the Old Town. Narrow streets take you past plenty of places to eat drink or just buy a souvenir. Although only small, the old town is well worth a visit. From here you can make your way up to the 15th century fortress that overlooks Omish and the surrounding area. The fort is located 262 meters or nearly 860 feet above Omish, which is why I decided to give it a miss on this occasion. But don't let me put you off. The views at the top look absolutely amazing. There are two routes you can take up. Route 1, an easier climb but takes one to one and a half hours each way. Or Route 2, a steeper climb but only takes half the time. So it's up to you which one you go for. There is a small charge to enter the fortress in summer months but there should only be a couple of pounds. Where to eat. After your walk up to the fort, I'm sure you'll be wanting some food. And don't worry, there are plenty of choices available in Amish. Sit down meals, bakeries, savoury or sweet food. Whatever you are looking for, I'm sure you'll find it. Unless you're looking for a McDonald's. Good luck with finding that. And as you're on holiday, don't forget to treat yourself to an ice cream. Beach. Now you are re-energised, it's time to take a gentle walk along the harbour. After following the perimeter of the harbour, you will reach a beach. There are several changing booths and showers on the beach, as well as bars and places to eat. I wasn't going to have a swim, but I'm so glad that I did. The sandy floor, clear and warm waters make it a fantastic beach to swim at. Yes, you heard that right, warm. In summer, it reaches over 25 degrees Celsius. So don't be afraid to get in. The water is shallow for a long way out. So if you want to keep your feet on the floor, there is plenty of space. And the best part is when you lay back and take in the breathtaking views looking over Omish with the cliff face backdrop. Now, for the more adventurous, there are several activities that will get your heart racing. The first one is the zip line. Not just any zip line, this is one of the best in Europe. With over 8 wires taking you over 2,100 meters, all while 150 meters above the ground level, this is an experience you will never forget. If you still need more adrenaline, there is also whitewater rafting available on the Sentina River. Go from gently floating down the river to being flung down the whitewater rapids then finishing off with a swim and a cliff jump. This is the perfect activity if you want to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Don't worry, even if you have never done this before, there are guides there who will talk you through each step, making sure you have a safe and most importantly, fun time. Best driving road. Now, onto the most impressive part of Omish leaving it. The road takes you alongside the river before it begins to climb. Each twist and turn brings a great view. There are a few places to pull in on the way up, so don't get too distracted from driving, however hard it may be. Sit back and enjoy as I take up one of the best roads in Croatia.
So what did you think of that? Impressive, right? That's going to be everything for this video. If you enjoyed this Amish travel guide, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to watch a travel guide on one of Croatia's most beautiful towns, click the screen now.